Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about 10 practical AWS projects for absolute beginners. And these projects are based from AWS hands-on tutorials. So before we take a look at these 10 projects one by one, I just wanted to show you some of the important things. So you can see that this is from AWS hands-on tutorial. So if I, if I click on this link, you will redirect to this is official AWS page so here you will find all the categories from the containers databases compute and these are all the hands-on tutorials so it will be in the link description in, the, in this video description so you can take a look at this so here i just wanted to take a look at these uh, important things these are the these are projects that are based from documentation so you can follow the documentation not to watch the video and these projects are beginner level all because I selected uh, all the beginner level projects because there is also intermediate and advanced projects. So you can take a look at the link. And these are all free tier eligible. That means that it will not cost uh, to your AWS account. So, but the most important thing is that as soon as you finish up your projects, you need to delete your resources. And finally, you need to have your AWS account. I mean, you have to install your AWS account before proceeding these projects. But uh, during these projects, there is also some parts that relates to you how to teach you how to set up your AWS account. So don't worry about them. Now let's take a look at these 10 AWS projects one by one. As you can see, I have created these 10 projects one by one here. So starting from the project one, we have getting started with AWS SDK. And I put it in the first um, project. So it doesn't matter whatever the project you do the first, based on your experience, based on your based on your skills you can do any of these projects it doesn't matter the order is just uh, based on my just uh, experience so you can uh, but for example if you do any of these projects uh, for example project 8 or project 4 you can do that because uh, if you have already done a, one of these projects you can skip that so the first project is getting started with AWS SDK. In this project, you will learn more about SDK, how to install it. So if I click on this link, uh, you can see that this will redirect me to the official AWS page where it says get started with AWS SDK. And here you can see there are overall three stages. And if you take a look at the project goals in this uh, project, you will learn basically how to install and configure AWS SDK um, CLI and create your first SDK project. And finally, you will deploy your first infrastructure. And uh, what you need for this project is only for AWS account. So if you don't have any one, you can follow the instructions. And as I said, it's a beginning level project. So time to complete for this project is 35 minutes. And as you can see, it cost to complete is free tier eligible. And some of the most important things here, you can note and read about more about these instructions and you can complete this project. So that's a great project to start. Next, we have a project two. In this project two, we are going to, you are going to basically learn how to set up your AWS environment. This is a great project for absolute beginners. And even though you have an AWS account, please try to finish this project. This will help you to learn, for example, how to create a new AWS account, configure users, set up a AWS CLI. And also this project will help you to teach how to set up AWS Cloud9 environment. So in this project, you will learn about how to install IDE, which is integrated development environment. So if I click on this setup, the last stage, as you can see, it's overall four stages. If I click on this last stage, you see that here you will learn about how to set up AWS Cloud9 environment using AWS CLI. So that's a great uh, opportunity to learn this Cloud9 in this project. So moving on to the project three. In this project three, you are going to learn how to build basic web application as a great project for absolute beginners and everyone should do every beginner level users every beginner level uh, learners should learn uh, should complete this project so if i click on this project you see that uh, the overall this project uh, consists of six stages um, 
and if we take a look at the project uh, goals and overview here you will learn how to create a web app how to connect the web app to several backend and add interactivity to your web app with an api and database and what you need just aws account and you can see that this project is a beginner level and the time to complete is 35 minutes minimum and it's free to eligible again so um so that's all about it for these projects you can take a look you can see there is a diagram and everything every detail for this project is here you can follow the instructions uh nothing is difficult you know we can follow the 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 documentation and all the instructions here and you will ho uh, hopefully you will finish this also and moving on to the project four so in this project four you will learn how to deploy a web app on aws amplify this is a great project especially for those who are looking to learn aws amplify so if i click on this project you see that here it's saying to deploy a web app on AWS Amplify. So here there are overall four stages. And as it says here, you are going to learn how to create your first Amplify project. Use Amplify CLI to add authentication database and a custom domain to your application. And finally, deploy a web app with AWS Amplify. So what you need is just the AWS account and familiarity with Git and GitHub account and uh, it's a beginner level project so time to complete is 15 to 20 minutes and it's a free tier eligible so that's a great project guys um especially you will learn how to connect api you know how to optimize deployment and finally uh, as i said earlier whatever whichever the project you do make sure you delete all the resources at the end because it will cost you a lot if you just leave that so moving on to the project five, we have a deploy a web app using AWS AppRunner. This is a great project for those who are interested for AppRunner. If I click on this project, you see that um, in this uh, project, you are going to basically learn how to use AWS SDK to create infrastructure for application and deploy application to AWS AppRunner. So you are going to learn SDK for this project. And uh, as it says here that you need to have a AWS account. And finally, you also need to make sure that you have your SDK property configured. So you will do it in the earlier projects. And here it says that it's a beginner level project, a beginner level AWS experience and 20 minutes time to complete. And as it says here, there is a cost. You can see that less than zero dollar eight cents if completed in under an hour or 58 dollar for the whole month so make sure you guys to delete the resources if you do this project you need to delete as soon as you finish up the project because it will cost you a lot and moving on to the project six in the project six you are going to learn how to deploy a lamp web app, a web app on aws light sale so um, I, I selected this project because of the light sale. So in this project, you will learn how to set up a lamp stack using uh, Amazon light sale blueprints and deploy PHP app to the instance. So, so you need to have AWS account and it says that you need to set up AWS Cloud9. And as I said, you will do, you will do this uh, stuff in the previous projects and the you need to have a beginner level aws experience time to complete is 50 minutes and it's also free to eligible as you see and yeah you can read more about the details about for this project so we are going to move on to the project seven so in this project we are going to build a full stack react application and this is one of the great projects that i have recently completed so if I click on this project, you see that you will build a full stack React application and you can see there are overall five stages. So in this project, you will learn how to, uh, you know, how to build and host a React application on AWS Global Content Delivery Network, CDN, and add all to your app to, acti to activate sign in and sign out and add a GraphQL API database and storage solutions. Uh, even though it says the you need to have AWS experience, you need to know some of the AWS services 
and time to complete is 50 minutes since it's a big project and uh, it, it requires you to have a AWS account with administrator level access, Node.js, GitHub account. So this is actually a really great project. I really like this project because I have completed this project and I found a lot of benefits from this project. So make sure you guys uh, complete this project as well. So we are going to move on to the project eight. And in this project, you will learn how to boost MySQL database performance, Amazon Elastic Cache with Amazon Elastic Cache for Redis. So if I click on this, you can see that boosting MySQL database performance with Amazon Elastic Cache for Redis. So this is more about for database, you will learn about, you know, this you can follow the step-by-step -step instructions to boost the performance of your application. So this is a beginner to intermediate uh, AWS experience requires. So that means that it's a big project and it's, it's kind of a bit more difficult for beginners, but uh, you can take a look at the application architecture and for documentation. So make sure you guys take a look at this project also, try to complete this project. This is also a great project for, especially for those who wants to improve their database and storage skills in AWS. And moving on to the project nine, we have uh, built a serverless web application. And this is also one of the great projects that I have completed recently. And in this project, we are going to build a serverless web application with AWS Lambda, Amazon API Gateway, AWS Amplify, Amazon DynamoDB, and Amazon Cognito. So this is a great project to learn these services into one project. And in this project, basically you are going to, as you can see, you are going to learn how to uh, build a serverless web application. So the, you need to have AWS CLI installed and you also need to install some of the other things uh, that is explained here in the documentation. So you can see the project architecture here. And here you can follow the documentation. So it's a beginner level project and time to complete is two hours. And there is a cost to complete. So it's a free AWS free tier, but if you leave all the resources as it is, it will cost you. So you make sure you have to delete these, all the resources as soon as you finish up this project. So let's move on to the final project, which is project 10. And in this project, you will learn how to create a continuous delivery pipeline. And this is a great project, especially for those who wants to learn DevOps. And in this project, you will set up a Git repo, deploy a sample web app and create a continuous delivery pipeline. So you will learn how to set up GitHub repository for application code, create AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment to deploy the application configure AWS Cloud Build to build the source code for GitHub. And finally, you use AWS Code Pipeline to set up the continuous delivery pipeline with source build and deploy stages. So you just need to have AWS account, GitHub account, and Git installed on your computer. And this is a AWS uh, experience for this project is beginner. Time to complete is 35 minutes. And the, it's a free tier eligible, as you see. And it has a project architecture. You can take a look and you can read more about this project in this, uh, in this page. So guys, I will put the, all the links and this mind map in the, in this video description. So you can take a look at this mind map and click on the each project link and complete uh, all of these projects. So overall, these are the great projects and these are from the AWS hands-on tutorials. Again, if you want to, if you have finished any of these projects, you can take a look at the another projects from AWS hands-on tutorials. There are several projects here available. So whether you want to do serverless or storage or whatever the category you want to choose, you can do that. So. That's all about it for this video. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to message me in the comments and I will see you in the next videos.